Hey, what's up everyone? Extend here with a Halloween guide for 2016. So to start off, you want to head south of Lumbridge until you hit this tip where you can't continue. And you want to talk to Abigail and then she will mention something about lending you her boat and her boat is to the very south. So what you do is you go onto it. Okay, so once you arrive here, you head north. So you head northwest until you hit a barrel of rainwater. And then you search the barrel of rainwater and you'll see a cutscene with a, a killer and a man. Uh, but after that cutscene is over, uh, it takes like a minute or so. After the cutscene is over, you will want to run. You run south to the fountain, grab a bucket, and then you use the bucket on the barrel of rainwater, and you should find the manor, the manor key, which uh, is used to unlock this big mansion. So you head north until you come to a room with a with an NPC named Tayton, some yeah Tayton whatever, and you click the door. Uh, you should see this cutscene where he, the killer kills her obviously, and she gurgles. And then let's just wait for it to finish. Um. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, take the knife on the table, just because. Why not? And be sure to take the, a copy of the note, which is located right next to the door, next to the room where we saw the cutscene, and just read it. And then with the knife, head over west uh, one room, and then you slash... Oh, whoops, sorry. You slash one of these paintings... Um, I'm unsure if it if it's account specific or if it's all the same so hopefully it's the same result for you guys as it is for me slash the painting and there you go you slash open the painting revealing a hidden storage compartment and then search the painting and you'll find a hidden key and with that ruby key, you unlock the door to the east of where we came in. Make sure to take a tinderbox from the shelves. And when you attempt to light the barrel with the fuse, it's going to say it's too damp to light. So that's bad. We don't want it to be damp. So with that being said, you light this candle right here. And then let's attempt it again. Okay, so it's still too damp to light. So just continue lighting all these candles. Light all the candles in both rooms. Or sorry, just in the room we were just in. So once you light all of these uh, four unlit candles in this room, the room is, it should say, the room is sufficient sufficiently warmed the fuse should now have dried out so let's try using the tinderbox on the barrel and see what happens the fuse is lit I should get out of here before it blows okay so now uh, the you can climb the damaged wall and then you run around until you hit a cutscene you can also click observe or, um, on the dead tree to activate it and this is the cutscene we're going to play a game do you like to play games it sounds like the saw movie um, continue just you can just spam click to continue if you aren't interested in reading okay And the answer is, I clicked uh, Lord Draken, Dracon, um, and this is what it said. So I'm unsure if that's incorrect, but apparently she's going to die regardless to my knowledge, so it doesn't really matter. 
And then the killer leaves a note, and you want to take that note. That monster. So let's see what the note says. It's like music to my ears. Okay, so that assumes we have to go to the piano. So let's click play piano, and then thanks to the uh, public chat, the answer is dead, so it's D E A D. And there is a clicking sound as the compartment on the D piano unlocks. So we search it and we find an emerald key. So head back to the main room where we came from, uh, where we entered the mansion, sorry. And then head northwest and use your key right here. Uh, you can also examine the doors and it tells you um, what the, the door type, so that's pretty cool. And then head northwest again to this little room right here, it looks like the kitchen. And then we'll see another cutscene. And as you can guess it, she is going to get murdered. And look, there's a Bandos God Sword on the table. That's pretty cool. We, should, we can't take it though. And this lady is going to die because just like in every horror movie, people just want to go investigate whatever noise is outside. So yeah, you guys should never do that. If I do say so myself. So Mandy is going outside. Mandy, what are you doing? You're gonna die. What the? See, I knew nothing would happen. There must have been a squirrel or something running about. Nope, you're about to die soon. I can sense it. Unless she is the killer, you guys. That's a twist. And, oh, nope, just kidding, you guys. The killer is here. This bitch is gonna die. Oh, see a headshot. No, why me? Well, because you're an idiot, that's why. So just press uh, continue, and the killer will leave another note outside the door. So let's just wait for this cutscene to end, and we will get it. Another note, yep. And let's read what this third note says. Here at first, these words, each murder, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'll be back when I find the answer. So from this room where we were just in, you head back to the fireplace or the room where we lit the, the fuse, head north to the fireplace and use your knife on the fireplace and I already revealed the hidden panel. So you find a panel of switches inside the hidden compartment. And thanks to Zozo1232, the answer is Sapphire. Diamond, Zenite, Emerald, Onyx, and then Ruby. And then you, there is a clicking sound as the compartment in the fireplace unlocks. And you find a key after you search it. And with that sapphire key, let's head back to the main room and try to find where it is. And here it is. The handle appears to be crafted from a sapphire. So another cutscene, as usual. Let's see what happens. So the killer appears. Uh, you guys can just skip the next sec, the few seconds, as I'm just going to be going through these cutscenes. So, the killer just vanished in his wardrobe. So let's see what happens now. So what you want to do in this room is push the mirror so it reflects the little uh, dart that it throws. So like right here, the mirror should have been intercepting that. And when you see like little black um, swirls on the wardrobe, it means like right there. I, if I was quicker, I could have uh, reflected it back onto them. So I'll just keep continuing until I get a successful try. Like right there, there we go. I damaged it. And then we have to move to this one. Oh, I think I'm going to be too slow though. Yeah, I was too slow. 
So the next one is right here to the north. Let's go click that. Oh, what? Wow. Guess the mirror can uh, can't go that direction. All right, so there we go. We damaged it, and I damaged it three times. So I guess after you damage it three times, the killer will pop out, and then you'll see yet another cutscene. And then you will unmask the killer, and as Scooby Doo would have told you, it's always the first person who has a problem that ends up being the killer. That's just how it is. So I guess the killer is Abigail. This dumb lady. She wanted our help yet deceives us. Always. That's how it used to be on the Scooby Doo show. But anyway, back on topic. Uh, you can choose to read or just press continue, continue, continue. And then apparently that it's not the killer there's a second killer always just like the movie scream so it's going to be that guy yep I knew it was that guy when I saw he was injured all right so you can cl keep pressing continue and I'll be back when uh, this cutscene ends so Abigail kills her man so what a crazy bitch you guys after the cutscene ends, you will find the killer's knife on this tile, and you pick it up, wield it, and you attack Abigail, and then you will say, thank god that's over, let's get out of here. And then, you will see another cutscene, and Abigail will say, you'll never escape me, you dare try and ruin my moment, you can just continue and I'll be back when the, the cutscene's over but thankfully Mandy comes with her big ass bandos god sword specs the bitch and see ya idiot and then after that you leave the mansion talk to Mandy and uh, just press continue and I'll be back when it's over alright so you are officially com done. You completed this little uh, event. And the full list that you receive is going to be in the description. And yeah, this is the newest reward. You look like uh, the killer from Scream. Forgot his name, but the killer from Scream. And that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.